Do you get into the seasons? Are you a person who really gets into holidays? Well, my our seasons here in Orlando kind of swing with like the theme parks with like Disney World. So they do they do Halloween from September to October. And then they do like Christmas from November to December. So that's like, how everybody just, like, else does it. That's normal. It's like Thanksgiving. Just kind of go shopping. You know, yeah. just go shopping. Uh, that's all. Wow. Go so you live in turkey. Orlando. And so you're at the mercy of Papa Disney. I didn't realize. Well, that's was- that's my job at Geeks and Gamers is to go to the theme parks. How often do you film. go? Uh, three, four times a week. What? What? Yeah. I didn't know it was that much oh my yeah. god how do you do it i think you may have heard me shitting on people who go yeah to- i know i you tagged you on twitter this- i was like you have to do this for your job like you're not willingly oh let me go let me spend every birthday every year go to Th- these people are mentally ill like adults who thoroughly <laughs> enjoy disney world disneyland they they're avoiding how do you something. That? i think how they're do you running figure? from something in their lives why? i really think they're mentally emotionally stunted why because it's the land of make believe. It's like you can totally check out. It's not just, of course, with every vacation you can check out of your yeah. real life. But Disney World is like you can dress up like a like a like goofy every day for a week if you want, and and you're not gonna. I just think it's. I think it's. I'm it's I'm judging you've these never, people a lot. Never gone with me. Eh. Do you dress See, look, up? Someone in the chat even says I'm an excellent tour guy. It's Do a whole wear- different experience. Do you wear costumes? It's not. I don't wear costumes. Um, I'm definitely not the only one to feel this way about adults. I just see. I see what it is. I see these women who they get engaged and they take their fucking engagement photos at Disneyland. And they have their fucking coordinating shirts that they make their fiance wear. and And you can tell the fiance wants no part of it. Like no man ever wants to wear a matching that's anything true. to you ever that no coordinated no even a group costume i think is pushing it like that you know a guy will tolerate that if he's trying to get into your pants actively but like once you guys are in a <laughs> people a man and a woman are in a relationship like there's you know, most men want no part of it i saw a whole flannel family apple picking a couple weeks ago when i went with frank and uh his son and it was like you could you could just look at the man's face and he had a look of like terror and he's just you know this whole I said hey plaid family and the guy was like every them were each and every one of them and it was like three kids mom and dad and they're like young they're like younger than me and they're just in this like black and red plaid like like a prison costume so you're looking at the uh extreme level then you got to come down a notch okay and enjoy it for what it is where if you don't like roller coasters, then probably not. If you don't like thrill rides, if you don't like the specialty foods, uh, if you don't like visiting some of your favorite movies on a live set, stuff like that, it's uh, specialty yeah. foods. You mean like cheese fries? What specialty? No, nah, they don't foods? have. It's it's completely different. <laughs> what specialty foods are happening at Disney World? Like, uh, I $10 mean, you can, you can go, you can go to the Beauty and the Beast castle and get something really, really expensive, like steak and pl- like sit down, and then they'll come serve you, and it's like, it's like living in a movie. Is Belle there with her tits out? Like, what is making this worth <laughs> the price? I mean, you can have a nice steak, not anywhere, you but you can have a nice steak at a lot of places. You don't have to. It's just for how much money it is to go to Disney World or Disneyland. It's just not worth it. And it's like for someone to choose to go there year after year, there's something wrong with you. Like Three you're you're miss, you're avoiding some. No, you get a pass because it's your job. I'm talking yeah. about regular people who just love Disney World because they're avoiding something. There, there is there is a few that yeah. No, you see, you're talking about the extremers, man. Like uh, we we make fun of those on our channel. <laughs> you know the people I'm talking about. Of course, I turn on the live stream. I walk yeah. around Disney, and I'm like, uh, look at these people. Like I know what they're trying to be influencers. The thing is, is like if they dress a certain way and they get the right picture on Instagram, Disney will send them. Disney, it's a, it's a it's a business. Disney will send them clothes to wear, and then they wake up at the crack of dawn to get to Disney World when it opens so they can just be alone in front of the castle and get pictures of this fit. 
This if it is turns so, out what you're describing is out, so sad to me. Like you're waking up at what five, six, six in the morning. Not to me. Get to I usually get there around three p.m. So, but no, yeah, you're fine. Again, you get a pass. <laughs> this is part of your em- employment. But I enjoy, like, I enjoy Universal Studios. It's different than Disney. It's like all Harry Potter stuff, and they have like these thrill rides and stuff. It's it's a little different. There's tons. There's more to do in Orlando than Disney. That's the problem. People just think Disney World. Like there's like tons of theme parks, Sea World. There's Bush Gardens. There's Legoland. They're all like they're all right. Great. You could throw a rock and bounce them off each one. So that's true. There is a lot to do in Orlando. Like get attacked by an alligator. No, a crocodile. Fuck. There's a difference. That's just a rumor. It's a rumor. Really? Why do I keep seeing kids on the news getting their legs bit off? Never heard that. There's there's not there's only it only happened one time years ago, and ever since then. We, right. I have Maybe alligator. Listen, the, I, when you live in Orlando, in the forefront of my mind. When you live in Central Florida, we have alligators. I have alligators in my backyard. They're like squirrels. You just kind of shoo them away, and they just go. Imagine I got photos really- of of me like like literally walking past alligators like on my morning walk. I got pictures. It's just it just shoo them. Imagine if they really were like squirrels and they would like climb up to like the bird feeder and be like eating. They are nuts. like squirrels. They go under your car, you kick the tire, and they just they just kind of take off. So that's scary. That's very scary. It's not they me. you can't find a report of them attacking anyone. So because they don't, they're scared. Alligators are scared. But they're don't not allig- they- they're not gators. Uh they're not like crocodiles are different. They're alligators. So they're like they're- they eat dogs, they eat kids. All right, every now and then we see a sign up in the neighborhood saying, have you seen Fluffy? She's missing. And we all know Fluffy got a little too close to the lake. We all know where she's uh, at. Yeah. And and poor Aunt B over there is missing Fluffy. But uh, it gives us a good, good laugh. (laughs) It's a good. We're having a good Florida time. (laughs) Exactly. Chuckle at the lost dog signs. Yeah. It ain't Central Florida if you know Spot or Fluffy got eaten by an alligator. 